Hi guys, it's Tim here with 8-Bit Chicken, and now I'm going to show you one of my chickens that has a small problem going on right now. Uh, yesterday I noticed that she wasn't really flying, uh, she wouldn't jump into the coop right, so I made a short clip that I thought she had a broken wing. I didn't upload it yet, uh, but you can see that right here. Let's go there. Yeah, that's a good spot. Hi guys, I'm Tim here with 8-Bit Chicken. Uh, kind of doing a quick video here. I don't have my microphone on me, so it might be hard to hear. Um, I got some questions for you guys. Uh, I have a chicken which I think has a broken wing. Uh, right down here. We'll see if I can catch her. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys back on this side. If I can catch her, maybe you guys can help me out and see if she has a broken wing, because it kind of looks like it. She was top of the pecking order and then she kind of just dropped off. So I'm not really sure what happened um, after my new chickens, which I brought in in July, and it is the beginning of November now. So uh, I'm gonna try and catch her. So this could be fun, watching me trying to catch a chicken. Uh, I'll see you guys here on my truck. I'll be right back. November, gotta grow that mustache for prostate cancer awareness. Chicken alligator. Um, I'll put some photos too of her. She's on the old ones I have. You can see she was eating a little mud, trying to get some worms. Uh, Easter egg her. She's a great layer. I've had her for three years. She's one of the longest chickens I've had. Um, she's tough. I know it's kind of weird. Chicken's name's alligator. It's kind of what happens when you let a three-year-old name your chickens. Um, I don't know if they're molting, but she's not flying right. I'm jumping into the coop right. I'll see if I can get some videos of that later. Um, she's eating healthy. So this is my chicken alligator. She's an Easter egger. You could see her wing is hanging pretty low here. Um, I went to take her in for the night and lift the door. And I noticed she wasn't roosting. So that was a dead giveaway that she wasn't on her roost for the night. And she was just laying on the floor. So I decided to put her in this dog crate I had bring her here in my garage and um, tomorrow I'm gonna go get some wrap wrap her up and kind of get her uh, settled away so that she can be straight again all right thanks all right so I went to my local farm store this morning and bought some vet wrap um, you see some previous clips of me cutting it in half because the article that I read um, that's what they recommended was cutting it in two inch strips so that's what I did I got it laying over here. I'm trying to get her out. Um, I tried wrapping around her one time with a full strip. It kind of fell off. So I did some more reading into it. And this is kind of what happened. So this is where I'm at. Let's see if this works. She's pretty um, cooperative right now because she's hurt. So that makes it a little bit easier. Um, she's usually been eating chicken. So, uh, we're going to wrap up alligator and see how it goes. That's a field attempt. Uh, she couldn't stand up, so I'll try it again. Um, try wrapping each wing individually and see if that helps, because she can't really keep her balance. So, um, try again here in a second. Hi guys, so currently alligator, I got her separated from everyone else. I wrapped her wing, one of them have dropped off. Um, I think it could be an eating problem as well, they weren't letting her eat. 
So I got her in this separate cage, which my brother-in-law let me borrow. So I'll show you kind of what's going on here. I kept her next to the flock so I don't have to redo the pecking order. Because um, she was the top and I think that's kind of how she got her wing hurt. So I'll give you a quick tour of what's going on here. So that's alligator. She's an Easter egger. Um, this is kind of what I got going on. Just a small little one chicken hutch, nothing fancy. We got her here, right here next to the run, the rest of the chickens. So, here she is. Uh, she would turn around, the other wing is the one that's wrapped. This one's kind of droopy too. Uh, she's not too happy that she's in here and can see the rest of these guys. But, um, I think she'll be fine. We'll see how she does. All right, thanks. All right, guys, great news. I just checked on alligator and she's looking good. Uh, she's been resting in her cage, separated for since Sunday, today's Wednesday. Uh, it's hard for me to do a lot of updates because I go to work and it's dark and I come home and it's dark and then she's usually sleeping, so. Uh, but she's looking good. Her wings are back where they should be. I'm gonna let her rest until Saturday and we'll see how that goes. All right, thanks. Hi guys, uh, not really sure how to say this. I guess I'll just have to show you alligator. It's not. Mm. Look at that, her wings are looking great. Gave her one week's rest out here. She's doing awesome. Uh, I can't really believe it. If you see right there, she's gobbling up some leaves and stuff. Oh yeah, she loves it. So we're gonna put her back in the coop tonight. Um, we're expecting to have snow this weekend, so I was hoping this was how it was gonna work out, and it really is. So um, what I did was I separated her. I tried to wrap her wings, it didn't work. It was just a sprain. If it was a break, I probably would've tried to wrap her wings better. But uh, yeah, she's doing awesome. So. We'll let her rest for a week outside by the other chicks and I think she's gonna be fine. I'm really proud of her. I'm really proud of the progress that she's made and she's really puffing up and looking good. All right, let's put her back with the rest of the guys.